Hey y'all, Jacob McCord, McCord Farm Project. Today we're out here just shooting the breeze. Just cutting up. I had to drive down here to baby brother's house to pick up little old tiny baby girl, take her to her mama's house. So I figured I'd just come out here and sit and talk for a minute about life and what's important. no YouTube channel so I can get rich and be famous or anything like that I mean I really just want to get rich you know what I mean I don't care nothing about being famous no, I'm just kidding I don't care nothing about being rich I'm about rich as I can be I got six kids man that makes me a rich man uh, we just out here doing what we do cuz I mean it's just what we do hey did I mention that I love my wife and if it wasn't for her, then I would not be alive. I mean, really, because she calls 911 when I get hurt, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, and she makes sure I got everything I need, you know what I mean? Hey, I love her. My little tiny buddy, he calls himself Lee the Fourth. I don't know, I just call him Little Fella. Uh, he said, man, y'all need to do some YouTube stuff. All that stuff y'all do down there at the farm, y'all just need to do some YouTube stuff. Y'all be rich. I don't care nothing about being rich, but hey, if people wanna if people wanna watch us work, feel free. Tune in. <laughs> we'll be here next week. If I'd have known back in the day how big YouTube was gonna be, then we could probably really be rich off of YouTube and make a ton of money. But we didn't know, man. We always behind the curve, you know what I mean? We on the backside. That's what the curve, that's what the curve's made for, us. <laughs> so we can keep up. I don't care nothing about being rich and famous. I don't care nothing about that. We just out here having fun. We uh, work to work. That's what we do. We work to work. We work so we can have some pigs and so our pigs will be happy and got these little goats up here I work so them goats will be happy I just want to do this stuff I have this stuff on YouTube so my grandkids if I have any grandkids who knows so my grandkids will be able to go out there and look at it and say that was my grandpa he did all that stuff we call him people though because that's what they gonna call me people they might call me crotchety old man I don't care as long as when they come to the house and they say people can we have some candy yeah, as long as they call me Peepaw then, that's all I really care about. I really do. I wish I had a YouTube channel back when Manny and Dylan and Jillian and all them was little kids. And then when Kaya and Charlie and Michaela was born, they say a uh, picture's worth a thousand words. Well, how many words is a video worth? You know what I mean? Just out here cutting up and having fun and you know, then you get to go back and look at yourself growing up. You know what I mean? That's kind of a strange and weird situation to be in. Uh, y'all kids don't realize what kind of opportunities y'all have these days with the YouTube. Hey, YouTube University, you can learn whatever you want. I tell you that. And if it don't work, you can make another video on something that does work. And somebody will watch it. I tell you that right now. I wish I'd have had YouTube back when they was, when my little, my big ones were little ones, you know what I mean? My little tiny babies were really tiny babies. Now they 23, 24 years old. Daggum, getting ready to get married and stuff. I didn't have it, so now I ain't got it. And that's something else you can do too, is go out there and get you some free stuff and make something out of it. You can do that. Who says you can't? Uh, you just gotta ask for it. You know, people will give you stuff. If they don't want it no more, they'll just give it to you. And you can take it and make whatever you want out of it. We keep a lot of junk piled up out here just so we'll have something to do. <laughs> if we need something to do, we always got something to do. Good Lord, we got more projects going on than a mother out here. 
we have fun. We really do have fun cutting up and making fun of ourselves and making fun of each other. I always tell my kids that uh, if you can't make fun of yourself, have kids. You know what I mean? You can make fun of them. <laughs> or nephews. You know what I mean? I love my nephews to hang around little Bobby and Zay and Patrick. I love for Patrick to be out here because I make fun of him all day long. I tell you what, he loves it too. Don't let him lie to you. Don't let him sit there and look like he's about to cry or anything like that because he ain't. He thinks it's funny. So I don't know if y'all care anything about watching it or not, but I'm going to keep putting videos out on YouTube just so they'll be out there. That way I don't have to store them. You know what I mean? They'll be stored. They'll be stored on YouTube. Dude, my grandbabies, all they got to do is go out there and look up my cord farm project, and there I'll be. People be out there telling them what's going on, working on projects and making fun of people. That's all he does. That's all he did was sit out there and work in the sun and make fun of people. Yeah. I got this old chainsaw right here over my head, going to cut my head off or something. Hey, sometimes you just stop working and go get in the barrel and roll down the hill, you know what I mean? But sometimes you don't because you got too much work to do. I'm fixing to have to build a goat barn. I ain't going to build no barn. I'm fixing to build them a playground. Oh, they're going to have fun. They don't care. Hey, I was telling you before about all that junk. You can get junk. Let me tell you this right now. You can get some junk and build something for a goat. And that goat won't care what it's built out of. You know what I mean? We build a pig barn. We take uh, some old rusty metal that we got off a project my uncle had 20 years ago and left the darn metal laid out in the woods. All we had to do was go down there and get it and load it up on a trailer and bring it over here. It took us a day to get all that junk and mess piled up on the trailer and brought over here. But hey, then we had all this metal laying around and what do we do with it? We side a pig barn. Guess what? Them pigs don't care what that thing looks like. They don't. All they know is they're keeping the rain off of them and keeping the sun from beating down on their little back. Hey, sometimes some kids will make you mad when you're out there trying to work and all that stuff, but, you know, they don't know no better. Well, let me take that. Let me take that all the way back. They know what they're doing. They know they acting the fool and cutting up, but they just kids trying to have fun doing what they doing. You know what I mean? They don't care nothing about work and doing the stuff we do. Hey, I get to spend a lot of time with my kids, so that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I always pick one or two of them to come and help me on a project or, you know, either one or two of them will pick me to go help me on the project. And that's fun, I love doing it. I love it when they come out there and spend time with me. But old Pat, I tell you what, old Pat, he works now. Pat'll work. He get out there and work. Old Cooter T, he'll help out too. He'll get out there and work some. But when he's done, he's done. You can't ask him, hey man, before you leave, can you do one more thing? Because when he says he's getting ready to leave, he's fixing to leave, you know what I mean? He got that from Nick though. That's how Nick is. When he decides he's done helping, he just leaves. Or he'll say, man, my wife, oh, golly, look at what time it is. I told my wife I'd be home at 4 o'clock. Man, it's 5 o'clock now. Well, I'm already an hour late. You know what, get him well. She ain't told him to be home at no darn 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock or whatever o'clock he's talking about. He just want to leave. Me and baby brother, we just stay out there and we just keep on working till we get the thing done. Hey, we do spend a lot of time with our family, though. Me, I got me and baby brother, and then I got baby sister, which she's my only sister, but I still call her baby sister anyway. I got baby sister and middle brother. Hey, did I mention that I love my wife? One day when this YouTube pays off, I'm gonna have me about 350 acres. I'm gonna have me a house right in the middle of it. I hope I, I, hope I ain't too old by the time I get it so I can uh, film all the work we're gonna have to do because I'm gonna take a raw piece of land with nothing on it and I'm gonna make it into a daggum farm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build me a house and a shop. I'm gonna build me a shop so I can work on bee boxes and stuff. And 
just build whatever I want to build in. And I'm going to make a YouTube video out of it when we do. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm serious. We finna do it. Some of these videos you might not like. I mean, we really, I mean, we really are going to kill some pigs. And I probably videotape not killing the pigs, but, you know, butchering them up and getting them all packed up to go in the freezer. But, hey, man, that's a circle of life, you know? We go out and we shoot deer, and I probably should do some videos, shoot some deer. I take my kids with me to shoot deer. Addison goes. Them girls and little girls, they go. They shoot deer, too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, we kill it. We kill deer, but we kill them to eat. You know what I mean? Some days we go catch fish, and we catch fish to have fun, but some days we catch fish to eat. You know what I mean? We might go frog gigging and gig us some frogs so we can eat frog legs, too. It's, hey, the chicken wing of the South. You know what I mean? If you ain't never ate a frog leg, you're missing out, and I feel sorry for you. I really do, because they good. Look, if you get offended by a video or you know, you don't like watching us kill a pig or cut up a pig or gut a deer or something like that, you know, don't unsubscribe or not watch any more videos because the next video, we might be out there cutting grass or something. You don't know. I ain't trying to make nobody mad. We just out here trying to live. You know what I mean? That's just what we do. We might work all day and then spend two or three hours at the end of the day rolling down the hill in a barrel. Well, we might work all day, cut down some trees, and then when it starts getting cool, go get in the boat, go out there and catch some fish. Just to catch some fish, we might just jump off the dock into the pond. Some days it gets hot, and you ain't got no bathing suit with you, you just take off your darn britches, get down in your drawers, and jump in the pond and go swimming. You just don't ever know what we can do. But that good content, that's what we really want, is that good content. Sometimes you gotta work to get the good content. Sometimes it just shows up. You didn't even know what was gonna happen, and it does. Like when your little old tiny nephew gets run over by a barrel rolling down the hill. <laughs> that was hilarious. We ain't, uh, we ain't trying to teach people how to do this stuff, but you know, you might learn something from it. You might not. You might laugh at it. You might not, but either which way, we just out here doing it. And somebody told me to tape it, so we taping it. And I figured out how to edit some videos thanks to my son, Emmanuel Jacob McCord. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a big movie star one day. And y'all ain't gonna believe he's my kid, but he's my kid. He helped me edit videos, taught me how to edit some videos. So, he edited a lot of them to start with. But he lives out in California and it's too hard to send all that stuff to him and then let him make the video and send it back to me. It might not work on your farm, but it works on my farm. So we'll just keep doing it the way we do it. Some days you gotta get in the beat up old Jeep and drive around town. You know why? We was gonna do a video, hot outside, sitting in the car, eating ice cream, waiting on her mama to come pick her up. Ain't work out. She got a cold drink though. I got no drink. I got a daggum hot Mountain Dew. It's like 87 degrees, probably like 214 degrees. It's boiling. Do you want some Dr Pepper? Negative, Ghost Rider. I'm perfectly fine. I drink my own spit. It is what it is. Poop. Yeah. Like and subscribe. And turn on post notifications. Post notifications? I hear that. That's hitting the bell, man. All you gotta do is just hit the bell. And then you get the notifications. Then you know when that good content comes out. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been saying all along. Hey. 
Look, we out here talking bad about them. They just brought us some slushies because it's hot and we've been out here waiting and stuff. You believe that? Who does that? Thank you, Burger King.